What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and in today's video we have received the package. So if you guys checked out my last video, the unboxing of the SCX24, as you guys can see, lighting has gotten better in here. Um, <laughs> I got a little better lighting in here. So now we can actually see everything on this uh, SCX24. But that is not, whoa, <laughs> that is not the reason why this video is being made. So in today's video as you guys just saw we received a package yes from Amazon we received a package today and this package is actually for this guy so uh, one of the things that I have um, been having an issue with with this is the climbing ability with the battery being on the back if you guys saw my one previous videos The climbing on it about like this it will start tipping backwards so what I wound up doing was getting some upgrades for it um, I am expecting to be tackling that boulder soon very very soon with this guy with this guy and especially with this guy so I will be comparing these three vehicles on that boulder and see how they do this one especially I'm very interested in this um, I'm very interested in making this RGT perform I really am I tried doing the washer weights on the front of it um, which must still end up being the thing the washer weights are still on the front of it and now I just figure, you know what, let me upgrade it and see how it's going to react or how it's going to be on top of that boulder. So without further ado, let's open up this package and see what we got for the RGT. So I wound up ordering some brass weights, as you guys can see here. Got some brass weights. These, I am going to weigh them. I'm going to grab my weights and we're going to weigh them and see exactly how much they weigh. And in this little package here, we have some wheels, I believe. Yes, we do. So we got some wheels for the RGT. I think these are going to look badass just for the main fact that if you really look at them, if you really look at these wheels, they kind of look like the SCX24 wheels, which is kind of the look I'm going for on this bad boy. Again, like I said, I love the way the wheels look on this Land Rover, the SCX24. Um, the C10 wheels. I love the way they look on it and I love the way that these wheels from the RGT look on the SCX24. So I just ended up uh, swapping them over because I like the way that they look on it on there. So let's go on ahead put these see how much the front weights see how much the front weights see how much these brass weights weigh with the wheels and we'll see how much the front of the RGT weighs without the weights on the front. So give me a second, we will be right back. All right you guys, so we are back with the um, stuff. So I got my scale here and I got some stuff here and I got another package in the mail which came out to be perfect um so like i said the first thing that i want to do with the 
RGT is um basically weigh the front end of it and we're going to weigh like I said the wheels and the brass weights to see what the um how much they weigh and how much they're going to weigh on the car how much they're going to weigh off of it so first and foremost so let's just weigh the front end of the RGT and see how much this thing weighs all right so the front end of this thing weighs in at put it like this 147 147 grams so that weighs 147 grams total in the front end of it so now what i'm going to want to doing because all i'm really planning on doing with it is for right now <laughs> for right now is like i was saying before my goal was to get this thing to climb that boulder so all i kind of really am attempting is to climb that boulder with the rgt because in the last video that i took it out with the c10 and down we go it didn't do too well so i'm just trying to make it better than it was uh, just trying to make it better than it was and we'll see how that goes all right so each one of these weights brass weights <clears throat> all right so as you guys can see there so each one of these brass weights here let me do this all over again. So, front of the RGT. One forty three. Now it's saying one forty three. A second ago it said one forty seven. So, and as you guys see, it is in grams. So let's zero it out. I'm actually going to turn it off. Turn it back on again. It's in grams. One forty seven. So 147 grams, just the front of it. So now one of these, one of these comes in at 6.9 grams. That's one, 6.9, two. Total of 13.9 grams. Now let's grab one of the wheels. So one of the wheels, 13.2 grams, one wheel, one brass, 20.1 grams. So that's 20.1 grams going on the front of it. The back of this thing weighs in at 117.1. I do have the battery in the back 117 grams on this rear end. So in this package that I got from RPP Hobby, I got tires. Uh, so I got the RC four wheel drive, rock locks, micro comp tires, part number ZT, Z-T0028U. And I like these tires. I think they are, what are they considered? Wall peaks or something like that? I'll try and do this all one handed for you guys. Come on. Come on. Don't want to come out of the bag. <laughs> Alright. I like the tread design on it. I think this will, I think these will actually help it climb up the border a lot better what i might end up doing though is taking out the um, foam on the inside just to give it a more grab just give more grab on the wheels so <clears throat> excuse me give me a minute what i'm going to do is i'm going to put 
the tire on the wheel and see how it looks on the RGT. So I did the rookie mistake of ordering one set of these rock locks from our, from RPP Hobby. I did that rookie mistake. So ordering, ordered another set, waiting all those to come in. All right, so for anybody that has been wondering um, what type of brass weights would work on to, if the SCX24 weights would work on the RGT, here you have it. It fit on there. It fits on there 100% perfectly, guys. There is no rubbing anywhere. I mean, there's no rubbing on it anywhere. The only thing now, I thought that the even putting the wheel back on that it was going to do a little funky stuff, but no, it fits on there. 100% perfectly. So I'm going to go on ahead. Uh, now a wheel on. I just, I just had to show you guys because I don't think a lot of people know. I don't think a lot of people know that the um, SCX24 brass will work on an RG tape. But you saw like here and now it does work. So I'm going to go ahead and ahead put tires onto the wheels. Onto the wheels and see how it works. All right. So these are nice and tight on there now. And like I said, I left the foam. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so these are nice and on there. I left the foam off. I took the foams out. Uh, these are aluminum wheels. And I think they look freaking awesome. I think they just look awesome comparing them to the SEX. 24 wheels um, This is the C10 with the wheels that came on the C10 that I put on the RGT because I like the way they look on it So I think these right here are gonna look bad as on the RGT So now that I got the one wheel on let's see how much this thing weighs with The brass so I got the brass put in the wheel like that with the tire and the aluminum wheel Let's see what the total weight is on it so we're looking at 27.3 here. Check this out. So with the wheel, the tire, and the brass, we're looking at a total of 27.3 grams. 27.3 grams per side. Um, I believe <laughs> that that's going to be a good some good sufficient amount of weight on the front of the RG tape to end up climbing up that boulder. So let me go on ahead, finish putting these wheels on and see what they look like on the RG tape. All right, everybody. So got the wheels on the front and I can already feel the difference in the front of this thing, man. I got the wheels on the front of it and I love, absolutely love the way they work. They look now, one of the issues, that I'm actually having is <laughs> these brass weights what I might have to do is like cut a little slit uh, I might have to cut a little slit in one of these or in all four of them for um, for these wheels because what's actually happening is if you guys can see the weight the brass is actually hitting those screws there and it's not allowing the hub it's not allowing the hex there to sit all the way flush with the with the wheel so those screws so those screws that mount onto the wheel they're actually kind of affecting it now if you go to use them on the stock SEX24 wheels, they work 100% fine. But for these particular wheels, what I'm going to have to do is just shave off a little bit. Um, yes, it's going to take weight off of it. But uh, I'm going to have to shave off a little bit um, just where the screws are, as you guys can see there. So those two down there, flip it, and the other two there. Hopefully you guys can see 
what is happening there and it's not letting <sighs> it's just not letting it sit flush but hey we'll um fix that remedy there yeah we'll fix that remedy and uh we'll just go from there so what we're going to do now is since i got the front i can definitely feel the weight on this thing like i can i can feel the weight on it like the front it weighs a lot more than it did so i forget how much it weighed before we, yeah, i even did this <laughs> uh but anyway when I edit it, to, when I edit the video, I'll put it back up on how much it used to weigh before and uh, how much it's going to weigh now. <clears throat> so again, we are doing everything in grams. So let's come over here. All right, so let's come over here because I remember I did the front of it and then I weighed the back of it. Um, so let's see how much this thing weighs just the front here so I'll put the front on top we are now at 160 grams in the front compared to the rear 117 I think the front was 140 something 169 grand. Well, I'm sorry, 159. What in the world is going on with this thing? Turn it off, turn it back on, and zero it out. There we go. 166 grams. This thing is a POS. I don't like this thing. I got this thing off. Uh, I got this thing from Harbor Freight. I, I'm not a big fan. 166 grams. Try this again. 165 grams. Could be. Now it's 162 grams. Um. Let me try something here. All right. So what I wound up doing. What I wound up doing more to center the vehicle on top, more to center the vehicle on top of the scale, I put this down on there, zeroed it out as you guys can see. Put it right on top there, 152 grams. So now I'm getting the full weight on the center of that. So it is now at 152 grams. Now, before I had these washers on there, these wheels just look so awesome. I love the way these wheels look. Um, so I had these four washers that were on the SEX24 wheels, just like so. And I could probably fit one more in there, but I'm not going to try it. So what I want to do, since I have these, let's see how much these weigh. So these weigh 12.3 grams. This here weighs 7 grams. So these washers weigh more than this. I also had these washers here being used as the weight. Seven point five grams. So those stainless right there weigh almost as much as that. But these right here weigh a lot more. 12.3 grams and that's four of those the problem that I'm gonna have is these washers are gonna be a little too big as you guys can see here so I'll get okay, one down I'm not gonna be able to use them with these wheels 
So as you guys can see there. All right, so as you guys saw, I'm not gonna be able to use those, um, those washers. We saw how much the wheels weighed. Uh, saw how much these brass, this brass weighs. Um, now the only thing I gotta do is take is shave down these. Where the hell did I put them? So I gotta shave these down a little bit. So far, I'm only gonna have these two on the front of the RGT, just for the main fact that I'm trying to kind climb, climb that boulder. So I gotta get it to climb that boulder. Um, I'm actually gonna grab two of these and put them on the C10 because I have two more. I'm gonna put two of them on the C10. I know I have more of these washers. I have more of these washers. What I'm planning on doing, guys and girls, the RGT, take out the RGT, put these weights on the C10, and then transfer them over to the Gladiator and see how they all perform against that boulder. So with that being said, uh, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I am going to be making another video with these guys. Uh, I do have, the weather has broken. It's been warm the past couple days, and uh, I'm planning on taking the Toy grade, toy grade uh, Hennessy Venom GT out and seeing what the speed is that we're going to be getting. So watch out for that video and watch out for the next video that's going to be coming out with these little 124 scales hitting up that boulder. You guys all have a good one and keep our seeing.